what is some dark shit going on around the world right now that the public probably doesn't know about? Most shrimp caught near SE Asia and parts of Africa are caught by literal slaves who are forced onto slave ships or sold by their families into servitude. Bacteria are becoming more and more resistant to antibiotics. The widespread use of antibiotics for healthcare and agriculture, mainly, have caused bacteria to adapt. This means that in the not-so-distant future, we may have new epidemics caused by multi-drug-resistant bacteria, who will be difficult to treat. Have you noticed nobody in bed with Epstein has been charged or even named, even after they convicted his girlfriend of trafficking? I'm in Mexico right now. Indigenous children are being sold for rape in the state of Guerrero like pieces of meat. Govet turns a blind eye and civilians are threatened by the cartel. It's messed up. The clients of Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell are still pedophiles, and still free, putting innocent children at risk. I think we need a subreddit or news website dedicated to that kind of non-trending and barely known but actually very important news, is there something like that out there? In Africa there is a very real and very extensive slave trade going on right now to say nothing of the other probably 40 million living in bondage. Thanks for sharing all this guys I don't think I'm living past 50 now. Women going missing from Indian reservations across some of the US. Many are young women and probably being used for sex trafficking. There are some interesting podcasts on the subject. Highway of Tears. A stretch of highway in BC where women, mostly indigenous, and also some men, have gone missing for decades. Known somewhat in Canada but largely ignored by the general populace. Doubt it's no outside of Canada, but could be wrong. Behind every polished business facade is a hodgepodge of systems that are hacked together to service you. Data protection is second to revenue. All the networks and system engineers have the power truly steal all your data. Sex trafficking in Ukraine. How better to disappear young women and children than during wartime? A horrific percentage of the ships sailing around on our oceans are staffed by people who are either outright slaves, or working in extreme indentured slavery circumstances. I'm a nurse I'm the US the short staffing is worse than you think. People think the healthcare system will collapse or is going to collapse but it's not, it already has. Just because you don't see the hospitals on fire doesn't mean there isn't some severe staffing and supply shortages. The labor used to build the upcoming FIFA World Cup stadiums. Somalia is pretty much gone at this point, facing war and one of its worst famines in ages, it would be a miracle if they make it through. The sheer volume of child trafficking that happens. Many of us have probably gone past houses where there is somebody being held prisoner and had no idea. Middle class is taking it right square in the ass with no lube. Humanity has wiped out 60% of animal populations since 1970. Most of the people that slept with Epstein's girls are still in positions of power and rich. 8,000 women are burned to death every year over dowry disputes in India. This figure does not count women killed by other means or women who survive the burning or women killed for reasons other than dowry disputes. Female infanticide, i.e. the deliberate killing of newborn female children, is still happening in rural India. A full-term newborn baby is buried alive if unfortunate enough to be female. The mother is usually trying to get pregnant right after, until she finally gives birth to the prized male child. Every day a different person asks a slightly reworded question about what men or women want on Ask Reddit. People going to the hospital and picking up a nasty antibiotic-resistant infection. The civil war and humanitarian crisis in Yemen that the media ignores. Been going on for years now. Funny how the media will rally their support around certain countries but not others. Most of what is really happening in Iran isn't being reported. The police bill in UK just updated that protesters can now be forced by law to wear a tracking device skeptical smiley face, even years later. No one knows or has raised it in the media. Super scary. Two serial killers were caught just last week in the USA. That 90 plus percent of the local news you're seeing is basically just the same newscast from Texas to Florida from Alaska to Washington. They just add in a traffic wreck or 7-Eleven shooting the people that sit in those chairs or puppets. Human trafficking kids through the foster care system. The level of spying social media and pretty mish every website does in us and the implications of years of AI-powered experiments of social engineering coming from the greater economical powers. Do you spend more than three hours a day in social media? You cannot really trust yourself now. Nestle. The permafrost is thawing in Siberia, Canada and Alaska. 
The methane release rate and pre-ice age bacteria awakening from hibernation will wreak havoc on our world at an unpredictable rate. Well maybe I shouldn't have read all these comments. People are dying BC they can't afford their overpriced medication. A very easy save. Just price gouging and horrible healthcare. Mental illness is a pandemic, and we have little to no resources available to everyone. The stigma of getting help and the somewhat prohibitive costs are making millions of people suffering of mental illness every day. Certain there's still men raping children in Africa because they were convinced by a preacher it would cure AIDS. Christian terrorist groups. The Lord's Resistance Army in Uganda is just as brutal and violent as Boko Haram and ISIS. But does not get even a whiff of news coverage in first world countries. The drift toward authoritarian rule and the dissolution of democracy. The fact that Syria is still tearing itself apart and nobody cares. Saudi Arabia sentences American to 16 years for tweeting negative comments about Saudi Arabia. There's anywhere between 25 to 50 active serial killers at least at any given point in time in the US alone. Sleep well. 99% of people won't fact check any of the comments on these posts. Microplastics being found in breast milk. There's a massive and ongoing genocide going on in Tigray. Hundreds of thousands of people are being killed off by denying access to food and critical medical care. Female circumcision in some African countries. The U.S. passed a law against this in 1996 but a federal judge ruled it unconstitutional. Irrespective of your views on the validity of human-induced climate change, every major insurance company on the planet has accepted what's coming and has already aggressively adapted coverage to profit.